We'll see. Fair enough. If we win games, Carl and us ourselves saved. There you go. Let's do it. What's, what's, your, what's your schedule? Your lottery on Monday yeah. and then what? Maybe World Championships or? Uh, uh, yeah, I don't go there. Um, during Finland's here in Finland and in Latvia. Yeah. Uh, okay. But we have our and three days of amateur scouting meetings coming up in a couple weeks. So it'll be lottery and then start to get ready for those. And before we know it, we'll be at the draft. And well, the combine's coming in. Uh, for us, hosting the combine's amazing. Um, just to have it here. Yeah. And we'll get into the draft, and here we go. All right. Well, thank you very much for the time. Thank you, yeah, Nicole. Thank you. Thanks for everybody. If you're setting this up, I know it means a lot to uh, Sabres fans. It means a lot to us. And uh, enjoy the rest of the offseason. We'll be checking in soon enough. Well, thanks for having me. Enjoy it. Sabres team, Kevin Adams here on the VGR. <laughs> Services. If you're starting to turn on your AC system and weird noises are coming out, or the air isn't cold at all, our Sports Radio 550 at WGR550.com. This is a Pat Chevrolet Sports Update. Bills continue to add post NFL draft. Yesterday it was on the defensive line with defensive tackle Puna Ford. One year deal. Former Seattle Seahawks started 63 games in four seasons with Seattle. Three sacks last year from the interior. Ian Rapport reports that Ford took less money to go to the Bills and try to win a Super Bowl. Yesterday was the deadline for fifth-year options in the NFL. The Chiefs declined the option on Clyde Edwards Hilaire. The other other teams that declined options include the Jets with left tackle Mackay Becton, Dolphins with right tackle Austin Jackson, and the Vikings with wide receiver Jalen Ray. NFL news in the last couple of minutes, the Jets are going to bring in wide receiver Randall Cobb on a one-year deal to reunite with Aaron Rodgers. Stanley Cup playoff action last night, the Florida Panthers take game one, four to two over the Toronto Maple Leafs. They lead the series one to nothing. The Seattle Kraken win in overtime, 5-4 to four to beat the Dallas Stars. They also lead that series 1-0. Joe Pavelski scores four goals in a losing effort for Dallas. NBA playoffs. The Lakers take game one over the Golden State Warriors. Anthony Davis, 30 points and 23 rebounds in the game one win. The Knicks survived the Miami Heat, 111-105. The Heat did not have Jimmy Butler in that game. He is questionable for game three with an ankle injury. And a couple of baseball scores. The Yankees get back to the win column yesterday, 3-2 over the Guardians. Red Sox 7, the Blue Jays 6. That's your Paddock Chevrolet Sports Update. Paddock Chevrolet with you for the extra mile. So, okay, where are they you know, in terms of their game? Do they have the passion to come to the ring every day and grow and get better and push this in? You know, if you're going to make a long-term commitment, you have to be absolutely confident that that player is going to wake up every day just with this burning desire to get back. And so that's another box to check. Sabres GM Kevin Adams. We thank uh, the Sabres and the GM for having him come in for a uh, full hour sitting down. You know, good stuff. Good stuff. Jeremy White, Jody Biasi. If you have a follow up thoughts on anything you heard, you can join us today with 3.0550. And, uh, you know, Wait time zero minutes. We got open phone lines. Savoy might be the most interesting thing of all of it, right? I mean, what do you do with him? Because it's a weird situation. Ideally, he uh, <laughs> just plays well enough to be on the team and he's not in construction. And, uh, yeah, and that is maybe not unreasonable given how insanely well he's playing in the juniors right now. Right. The only problem is if he doesn't do that, they just think, well, all right, sure, get a bad camp. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring him along, you know, it's uh, some interesting stuff. I mean, him, him and Kulik, like, both in the lineup next year, one in the lineup next year, like, wouldn't you expect one arm? Yes, I would expect one. But the, the, the thing there, and we, we talked with Adams about, like, the numbers crunch a little bit and more towards the future. Like, next year, if you want to bring back Kyle Poso and Victor Jurgensen and Victor Olofsson, like, someone can't, someone can't be back. I think right. there is a room for, I guess it could just be the kids aren't ready, um, but they already were kind of, you know, having to help these scratch guys that uh, most teams you would think would be in, in a lineup. Olsen gets moved, right? Doesn't he have to? Yes. Final year of his contract. Who wants a guy that can score you 30 goals? He's going to be 28 years old, a specialist, 
one year deal. Yeah. Yeah, he, right, he would have value enough, you'd think. And, I mean, hey, they, they were more, their most important games of the season, he wasn't in the lineup. Like, that was confirmation to me that he's expendable. That, hey, your most important games of the year, you had him in, you had him in the press box. 803 um, 550. Playoffs. Watched Leafs last night, Leafs Panthers. Tonight, Carolina, New Jersey. Yep. Dandy. What's it, Lindy? Lindy going for uh, his first cup. Gee, that, that, that side of the bracket, you, you would like the Panthers to come out of the East right now? I think I'd still choose the Leafs, even though they're down one nothing in that series. Yeah, and one nothing's not, not insurmountable. They're down one nothing in Tampa, and then one and six. Yeah. Carolina is not one five. Carolina still feel like it's tested because the Islanders are the Islanders. I was impressed by the Devils, though. I mean, that's a team that just showed up, right? 65 points last year. They're young, they're fast, they're not physical, and the Rangers were all of those things, and the Rangers were the team that knew how to win, and by the way, had the superstar goaltender, and the Devils, you know, with uh, Akira Schmidt is their goalie, right? Yeah, he went and just started winning. Just, all right, hot goalie, out of nowhere, and they're in the second round. How much did the, you know, I had a, a tweet or an email about this, about how the Rangers went all in, and you know, Kevin Adams didn't do that, yeah. you know, just to go out in the first round. How much did they really give up? The Kane trade is a second and a fourth, a conditional second and a fourth. Tarasenko, they gave up a prospect, some okay. picks. So they gave up some, they did not give up their first, a conditional first. Yeah, conditional first. St. Louis got, in addition to, okay, so Tarasenko goes, they got a forward, a defensive prospect, 